morning. Good morning, y'all. How you doing this morning? <laughs> I'm about running behind this morning. I kind of um, had to take a phone call earlier. That kind of threw me off a little bit. And I didn't even go back and change my uh, the title. Let me see. My bad. My sister is texting me. She don't know I'm live. I mean. Well, hopefully y'all are having an awesome day today. If this is your first time watching, my name is Sin, and welcome to the T-Shirt Chick YouTube channel. Today on um on Wednesdays, I try to come on here and just have a T-Shirt business conversation with y'all. Just talk about the T-Shirt business. I have like a, a long list of uh, different topics to talk about, but I didn't know what I really wanted to talk about today. Um, if it's anything y'all want to talk, I did come up with what I was going to talk about, but if it's something that y'all would like to talk about today, let me know. And I'm going to go back and later change the um, title to this video so that it'll be more relevant to what we're, you know, what we talk about. But I have a topic that, that I could talk about, but if y'all have something that y'all want to talk about, let me know and we can talk about that. Otherwise, after I greet everybody, I'm going to talk about the topic that I was going to talk about. K.A. says, wow, you mad? Uh, that that, that uh, picture that I put on there might have looked like I was mad. I don't know. It's hard to make me mad. It's like you got to really be trying to make me mad to make me mad. But if you are trying to make me mad, and I know that, I you'll never know I'm mad. What's up, Levi? How you doing, Barb? Rhonda, Nani, Marissa, Rachel, Lisette. Let me see, Jesse, Rue. The we'll jump. Let me see. Trying to not skip anybody. Jasmine, appreciate y'all jumping on here. DJ Robert Wheeler, Michelle, Kelly, Tracy, Sezzy Mocha Crafts, Vicky, appreciate y'all jumping on here. Deborah, Teresa, Tiffany, how y'all doing? Appreciate y'all. I see we got people from Illinois, Atlanta, Minnesota, Louisiana. You know, Louisiana State up in here, Virginia. Let me see if there's any other places that I miss. But I appreciate y'all jumping on here. All right, so since nobody didn't give a different topic, we're going to talk about some things that that T-shirt printers should know, that every, things that every T-shirt printer should know. Like um, if, you are, if you are trying to start a T-shirt business, we got another person from Virginia. What's up, Top Boss? How you doing? Rachel says, the boot is here. I hear you, Rachel. <laughs> Repping up in this thing. Um, we got somebody from Alabama. Christine, how you doing? We got South Jersey with Tiffany. Appreciate you for being on here. All right, so we're going to talk about some things every T-shirt printer should know. Um, now, when when you first start in a T-shirt business, like as when I started this business, I'm I don't consider myself like a a true business person. I'm I was just a person who did not want to go back and work for nobody. I, um, before I started my t-shirt business, I was a teacher, and then I was an apartment manager for a short time. But when I um, the reason that I started my business, which I talk about this a lot, is because I did not want to go back to working for anybody because I was getting ready to have my second kid. And I wanted to be there. I want. I didn't want to miss any first. So um, when I first started out, and I came up with my prices, the way that I came up with my prices was I called, which we don't have any other t-shirt um, shops here in town, but I called like some local ones, like a couple of towns over, and um, you know, kind of pretended I wanted to make an order just to kind of get some prices. And that's kind of how I came up with my prices. And um, I feel like pricing is one of the main things with your t-shirt business that you have to get right. 
because if you if you don't have your pricing right, you'll be putting in too much work and not getting anything out of it or not getting enough out of it. So uh, what what I ended up doing was uh, I started out with a price and I'm trying to remember what that price was. I really, to be honest with y'all, y'all, I've been doing this for over 15 years. So I don't really, uh, I don't really remember what the price was, but I, for some reason, want to say 15, I started out with $15. Okay. So, you know, um, when I started out with that price, it was okay because I was just starting. And maybe at that time, my quality of work was not where it is now. So maybe it was worth fifteen dollars back then but nowadays how many of y'all would would start out with t-shirts for fifteen dollars let me know if if y'all would uh right nowadays charge only fifteen dollars for your t-shirts because you know the price of everything that went up especially with the way the economy is economy economy i can't even tell economy is what's up crafty lee how you doing Victoria from Kentucky, but um, <laughs> Barb says no way, fifteen dollars. Rachel says nope. Yeah, so you know when when you first starting out, price is a big thing. You kind of don't really know what to charge because one thing, you know, when you first starting out, you you kind of you know you you may not be comfortable yet with charging a certain price. But I'm gonna tell y'all uh, one thing about price. Um, like my price, uh, it's you know, it's people here that do t-shirts in town, and my price is more than their price. But I do also have customers that go to these other people, and then these people can't get the job done, so then they come to me and expect me to to fix it or get it done at the last minute after they went to somebody else first. But I'm the only like. Uh, screen printer like I'm the person who's been here the longest I'm the person who had you know I it's been proven that I know what I'm doing with the t-shirts and I I'm not ever gonna say I'm the best person to ever do t-shirts or nothing like that I, I would never say that but I you know I know what I'm doing with the t-shirts and um, what's up Nicole how you doing so you know so I would feel like people would come to me first but at the same time I can't um make them come to me because my price is what my price is so if i don't want to do the small order so if you come to me with one with one t-shirt or asking about one t-shirt i'm not uh you know i don't want that order so my price is going to be higher you can go to the other people with it and you can get their cheaper price but if you come to me and you got a group price a group rate which is what i want to be printing or printing for businesses then you gonna get a better price you know so you can you can go to them and get the cheaper price or you can come to me and you can get it done right that's that's um, my motto that's what I say because I, I have a lot of people that um you know that come to me after they have went somewhere else and that person couldn't do what they wanted or they complain about it and stuff like that I also have had people to come to me talking about this person said that they would do it for this price okay if that price is a better price then i would say go with that person and if that price is cheap enough i might check into it and outsource to them and let them do all the work and just add my upsell price on it you know so so yeah um that's with that the first thing that you need to know is you know you want to get your price right okay the second thing the, and well, I, I guess we can talk more about that. I, I don't know. We're going to talk more about the t shirt pricing, I guess. I don't know, because I'm kind of conflicted now that I talked about that, because I do get a lot of people asking asking me about uh, pricing shirts. Okay. So then the, the next thing is where do you get your shirts from? If you are not getting your shirts from a wholesale place, if, okay, if, some, if people come in here and they only have, and they only want one shirt you will be paying a whole lot of money if you have to order one shirt for somebody so like what what i do like even before here like now i sell blank shirts so i do keep a lot of different blank shirts in stock so unless somebody come in and want a big order that would be worth actually ordering you know ordering out from a company 
I would um I would probably have what they need here. So uh, when I first started out, I did not have shirts here. Whenever people came, I would have to go go buy the shirts. So it you know it would be good to keep a few shirts on inventory if you are gonna be printing a lot of shirts or at least the popular colors. And that's what I did. I ended up just kind of adding in the the popular colors like um, my the colors that I keep in stock. I keep red, white, black. Well, I don't keep that many white. The white that I keep are mostly sublimation shirts, but I keep red and black because that is like the school here in town. And then I keep yellow and green or gold and green because that's like one of the local, you know, the, the school that my son go to. And the other schools around here are red and white or yellow and black, uh, royal. So I keep raw blue shirts. I keep all the gray shirts, like the neutral color shirts. I keep all those in stock. But those are pretty much the popular colors. But you can get by just keeping like black. If you keep black shirts in stock, I feel like you could get by with that because most people do want black. I don't like to wear black shirts myself. If y'all ever notice, I, I don't have black shirts on a lot. But a lot of people love to wear black shirts. And I think that's the most popular color. So, um... You know, as far as pricing, that would depend on where you get your shirts from. So if you are buying your shirts from Walmart or like Michaels, like one of the craft stores, they are, of course, going to cost more than if you are buying them from a wholesale place or even some of the other places that are not like true wholesale places, but they have a, a better price. Like all day shirts and jiffy shirts they're not wholesale places you don't have to have a wholesale license to purchase from them but you can get a better price than purchasing from walmart or like a craft store or something like that so um that that's two of the main things when it comes to pricing is um uh, you know making sure you getting you getting your work you know and Sometimes you need to charge a design fee. Like if people ordering big orders, I don't worry about charging a design fee. But when they when they coming in here and they want one shirt or a bunch of different shirts with different designs on it, then the, that's where the art fee will come in. So you want to make sure that you are charging accordingly. And like when I first started out and my shirts, I, I want to say my shirts was fifteen dollars. They was either fifteen, they might have been twenty, but I, I believe they was fifteen. Um you know, and then when the, when you come in there and I'm doing one shirt for $15 and it's taking me more than an hour to do that shirt because I'm having to create the design and then I'm having to weave the vinyl. And one, one of the things I did not do in the beginning, I was not charging for extra prints. I just, I was just charging, you know, like if they come in there and they wanted two prints on the front or two color front, I wasn't even charging for that. I was, so I wasn't making as much money as I should have been making because my pricing was not right so for um for your pricing i do on my website tshirtchicktv.com i do sell the pricing like all of my paperwork that i use like the agreement i have like a print agreement that i get all my customers to sign i have um my pricing good morning marcel how you doing i have all my pricing um it's, it's mostly a template, but I have my pricing sheet so that you can see, okay, for one shirt, this is what I charge. So if they order 10 shirts or whatever your minimum would be, you know, I say your minimum, whatever your next tier would be, the, you know, you can kind of go from there and use that as a template in order to come up with your prices. I mean, if you want to go by those prices, you can, because at the time that I made that list, that was the prices that you know that i was using but things have went up a little bit so i have changed it uh, you know changed the prices up a little bit it's not a whole lot just a little bit but um you do want to make sure that you uh you know that you come up with a good price for one shirt because you don't want to say okay I'm giving my cheapest price if they come in here for one shirt. So then if they come in there and they order a hundred shirts, they're not going to want to pay that price that you would pay for one shirt. So you might end up not really making much money at all. And uh, I feel like one of the most important things with, you know, with the t-shirt business is 
customer service and treating your customers right because if you if you have customers coming in and they having a bad experience they are for sure gonna tell somebody if you can think about the last time that that something happened and you had a bad experience you know you gonna you gonna talk about it i, I know i do I, when something you know something bad happened i talk about it i probably be a dead horse with it sometimes you know because it's like sometimes you just need to get that off of you so if you not treating your customers right you know they gonna talk about it and a lot of times if you have if you have a, a good experience a lot of times they won't say nothing unless somebody asks about it like if somebody say hey do you know somebody that can do t-shirts and they had a good experience with you that they're, they're more likely to tell you know but if they just have like an okay experience sometimes they don't really say anything you know so um that's a couple of things to um keep in mind with that i'm gonna go back up and uh because it, it's been people come in and i don't want people to feel like i'm ignoring them <laughs> so let me see what's up crafting with vicky and vicky hamilton for a special to get more business um let me see did you put something before that vicky you said for a special to get more business let me see what's up jace how you doing nicole rachel jesse dj robert wheeler jesse jesse jace says too cheap nine dollars i would charge them twelve dollars oh the nine dollars i think somebody was saying they charge nine dollars for 90 shirts yeah uh my price is more than that my price is my price is more than it's more than that for 90 shirts uh let me see what's up melee how you doing Rhonda says i normally would get my shirts from michaels yeah Rhonda, if you can like if you can start trying to keep up with what your popular shirts are like what the colors that people buy mostly then i i think that will be um you know that would be a way for you to keep a few on on hand but the thing with that is you can't really tell what people are gonna want because i like the t-shirts that i have in there i know most people be want black shirts for whatever reason i don't know i don't like wearing black black t-shirts i mean i will but I, I don't really care to wear them but most people gonna want black and then like if you're printing for the schools around you or printing you know spirit shirts and stuff like that you gonna want to go with some of the um you know the school colors christina says i get mine from joanne and michaels yeah that's a you know if you like usually when i um am short on shirts and another thing that you want to do like say that you get a group order say that some people order shirts you always want to order extra shirts like um okay i just made order um for some shirts yesterday and they wanted i think it was 45 shirts but i ordered more than 45 shirts because for each size I, I always order at least one extra and and that this is for a business and I, I always order at least one extra and i do that in case i mess up but like if i had like when i was doing the hot boys hot girl shirt for the trail ride uh, sometimes you have people that come late so i always order multiple extra i might order at least three to five extra ones of each size because you always have people like when i took that order i was in here thursday i had because i had two big orders last week for two different horse riding clubs and i had uh on thursday and friday i was here past one and i was getting here at like 8 a.m to you know to start working and people kept ordering people kept ordering towels i sold out of towels and i just forgot i was supposed to order some more towels and i forgot when i made the order yesterday but i i wasn't turning nobody down everybody that wanted something i was like okay you you can get it you can get it but the ones who ordered late they ended up paying full price because they didn't order with the group so you know when when it's uh stuff like that you know i gotta hit them with that fee because i'm like yeah i had to take all the screens down for this second order so you're gonna have to pay full price and they didn't have any problem with with paying full price but I did let them know that ahead of time. We know says facts, true. Good morning, hooked on the stitch. How you doing? Let me see. 
Crafty Lee says, I stopped taking one order shirts too because I was getting the I can't I can let me see, I can't get it made elsewhere. Oh yeah, I like I have people. I had a lady that came here yesterday. I don't know if she's gonna come back or not, but everybody else ordered their fan reunion shirts through whoever they went with. They ordered the shirts. So she came and was wanting to know how much it would be for three shirts. Well, for for three three shirts you're going to be paying almost a hundred dollars you know so that i don't know if she coming back today but i told her, i'm like now if you want me to do this because i'm not i don't want to have to draw out the design or you know try to make cre recreate the design myself so i'm just gonna send it out and get it done so i gotta throw that extra price in there so that they can um uh, you know pay i'm not paying for it because y'all wait to the last minute and because y'all don't want to come to me see if y'all if they would have came to me i could have printed the shirts and i would have had extra shirts and that way they wouldn't have to be trying to go somewhere else and get it done um let me see hook says good topic thank you hooked on the stitch what's up reno how you doing vicky says that's when I might charge 15 for a shirt. What you talking about on there? You talking about for 90, for 90 uh, shirts? Crafty Lee says, I get my shirts mostly from Bo Boss Cove at the mall. How many shirts do you think you have done this year? You know what, Victoria? I don't know. I Like everything that I do is on Square. I could go back and look at it like all the shirts that I've done, like every um it keeps up with everything that I do. So I can go back and look at it, but I don't know. I, I don't know how many shirts I did last year. Like I don't I don't really even be looking at it. I just I just um look at the amount of money. I'm like, okay, is it if is me continuing to have a t-shirt business, is it profitable? Is it paying my bills? That's mostly what I look at, but I have no idea. Um, I'm trying to even think of how many I printed last week. I don't even, let me see. I don't even remember how many I printed last week. Cause I'm gonna tell you like, so, for some reason, my brain has selective memory. So it's just like, if I'm, if I'm not talking to somebody every day, or if I'm not, you know, regularly talking to people, I forget their names. <laughs> I mean, I, my brain is just like, okay, we can't remember all this stuff. So I'm just gonna remember the important stuff for the stuff that, you know you need to know on a regular basis and that's how my brain works like i would have to um check you know go on on here and check my books the colors that people the colors that the people i do shirts for is blue and white yeah most of most of my people don't be wanting white shirts unless they're getting a uh if they getting a all over print shirt or sometimes if if they want a full color shirt and since i haven't had dtf for a long time you know they'll go with that sometime what's up the logos on how you doing miss d ami says hey sin how you doing crafty lee says you can't remember that's that's good money hey <laughs> you silly but i i mean I, it'd be hard for me to remember exactly what you know what i uh how many shirts? I don't know. Like, I'm just trying to remember last week. Um, last week it was it was, I made over fourteen fourteen hundred dollars last week on two orders, you know, on just those two big orders. So I can't I don't really uh I don't know. I don't remember how, exactly how many shirts I printed. And one of them you know, one of them was a repeat order, so I already had the screens. One of them was a order where it was a bunch of different prints, and they was paying like thirty dollars a shirt. So I I don't really be remembering. What's up, Rod? How you doing? But yeah, and Ronivia, I can't even talk. Reno says driving and turning in. Where you headed to, Reno? Good morning, Sonia. How you doing? Yeah. So, um. I'm trying to think of another uh, point from where I left off. Oh, Amethyst. Okay. I don't be coming on, on your lives as much. I'm finally getting into the middle of actually being 
All right, all right, Amethyst. And I'm gonna have to uh I'm gonna have to go on your channel after this so that I can make sure that I'm subscribed to this this channel. Pam says good morning. Good morning, Pam. If you add something new to your business, what what would you add? Um, if I add something new, hmm, signs, probably signs. Cause I have a lot of people that, that want signs. And I I do some some signs somewhat as far as like little simple stuff, but I would get like a dedicated printer that can print like you know a pretty good size signs at least um I'm thinking maybe at least 36 inches wide, at least a 36 inch wide um what do you call them? So solvent printer. I couldn't even think of what it's called. Just picked up some screen printed ink. All right, all right, Reno. What you you got a, a big order to work on this week? A big screen print order. Reno says headed back home. But yeah, Marcel, what you working on today? Y'all, Marcel sent me, and I was I meant to bring some stuff here this morning, but I was kind of running behind because I got up this morning. I did two days worth of workouts this morning because I got up like super early. But um, Marcel sent me some freeze dried fruit and vegetables, y'all. It was so good. It, I, I have ate most of it up <laughs> last night. And I, I ate all my pineapples, some freeze dried pineapples. Them things were so good. I think that was my favorite out of everything. But, um, but yeah, she sent me some freeze dried fruit and vegetables. I had to do a last minute shirt for a friend of mine and I had to change her. I had to my bad, charge her a little more because she waited until the last minute and I had to stop what I was. Yep. That rush fee. That's called that a rush fee. And if they need it within 24 hours, if they need the same day, if they need it within two days, like you, you got to charge for that. You have to charge for that. Nicole says that was nice. Hey, that, that stuff was so good. I look, I couldn't even uh I, I couldn't do no video because I knew what was in the box and I was like waiting for it. Y'all, and then UPS playing me. UPS tried to play me yesterday. They sent, they sent uh the y'all remember the guy that I used to always had problems with. Now all the drivers from UPS for the past 15 years, they deliver to the first places that they get to when they get into town because they they have to pass by my shop so when when i got my shop on this side of town i was kind of happy because i was like yes i'll be getting my orders early in the day so this dude um he now mind you i am a business this dude rolls up over here after six o'clock because i left here a little after five he rolls up up over here close to seven o'clock so i'm gone and um so he went down the road and took took the uh took my package to somebody else's house that knows me or whatever but i'm gonna tell that person don't don't accept no more packages from ups let them go back because that that dude i i hope that's his last time having to drive over here but i hadn't been get, having no problems getting my packages except for when the ups guy told me that they put it on the wrong truck you know and he was apologizing for that but other than that i've, I've been getting my packages on time but that dude, I hope he's not here this week. I hope he's not here this week because if he is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call and complain. I'm probably going to call today and complain. And it, I don't know, it's just irritating because every other driver since the 15 years, I used to meet them like right across the street because my other shop was on the other side of town. So it would take them longer to get to me. So I would, uh, you know, I would meet them to get it so I wouldn't have to wait so long for it. I told you don't eat it all. Hey, I try. I didn't try to. I still got a little bit left. I'm, I'm not going to eat it all at once. I don't know what his problem is. I have reported him. I have, um, and after I reported him and, um, you know, complained on him, um, he came over here and he was mad or whatever. So um, then the, the guy that, that used to work a long time ago before, I guess before he came, the guy that was um, working before he came, he called that guy and I guess he didn't know that me and that guy, I have that guy phone number and I used to call him and I used to like buy him lunch and different stuff like that because 
he was a, a good UPS man. And I, I had his number because I was on the other side of town. So sometimes I would call him so that I could meet him when I needed to get, you know, get the order. So that I, you know, I like to be able to print like the day that I stayed late on, on Thursday. And then that caused me to have to stay late on Friday was because I got my package late. Like if I can get my package early in the day, I can have it printed before I leave. And then the next day I could have worked on the other package, but it, I mean the other order, but it's just, you know, when you get it at the end of the day, you got to stay up all night to do it or it puts you behind. And especially when I'm on this side of town. So I used to call them all, but um, I don't know why he want to, you know, I don't know why he want to be a problem to me. I even prayed for him to get a, to, to get a, a promotion so that he could get a better paying job somewhere else. I mean, I, I did all kind of praying for that dude. I don't know. And then, like, even after that, me and the guy had a talk, and I, I had made him, you know, and I was like, you know what, I'm sorry, but maybe I should have talked to you about it, but it's like, you you know, it, it just seemed like you got something against me, like, you don't want to bring me my packages. And then he was talking about, well, um, they, the, the order that the packages are in, my package wouldn't come, you know, like, he passed by my shop several times, so yesterday, um, whenever I uh, whenever I got called to go get my package from the other place he dropped it off, I went to pick it up. And then I went back and I, I was going back to my mom's house and I saw a UPS truck at the store. So I was like, I'm going to go see if this is the guy. Cause I was, for whatever reason, I was thinking it was him. So when I went by the, by the gas station, I saw that it was him. So I figured that, you know, I figured it was him. I was like, it's gotta be him. The other guy must've been off, you know, so when I when I saw that it was him, I just went on back to my mom's and I texted and was like, hey, it was the old guy, you know, um, that's my biggest issue price. And my customers want $15 shirts. And most of the time I do not have a design. Rate. I don't I don't design shirts. I just buy my design and press it. Hey, are you a part of Creative Fabric of Jasmine? Because you can pay a cheap price instead of having to buy each design. And a lot of those designs that's on Etsy is on Creative Fabrica. And you can use my link below this video. And, you know, I can get some uh, affiliate, some coins for affiliate or whatever, but you're not paying nothing extra. And they may have a deal. I don't know if they still got that deal going on. They A lot of times they offer a little deal where, you know, you're not paying the full price. So you have to just go in there and check. But, um, but yeah, that's what I do sometimes. Like I like when somebody asks for a design, like I just had a, I think it was 50th birthday or something like that. It might have been 40, it was 48th birthday. So I went on went on there and found, just typed in 48th birthday design, you know, the design with the heels, and I just used that. So I didn't have to create no design. I just went on there and downloaded a couple of them because they, you know, I already had paid for. And you know. You're welcome. You're welcome, Jasmine. And I just use that. So Creative Fabric could save me a whole bunch of time, especially when they, you know, they don't have a specific design in mind. They just say, hey, can you make me a design that says this? So I just go on there, search for that, and usually something pops up. Yeah, I don't appreciate when they keep changing the UPS drivers and you get that one that's, yeah. He And, and I just feel like for whatever reason, he just trying to make stuff difficult for me. But I what i start doing is telling people don't accept those packages and let him take them back and and not deliver them because they don't like for them to not deliver their packages good morning brian how you doing nicole laughing you laughing at my prayer nicole <laughs> let me see amethyst says jasmine charging 35 dollars for a single shirt or 35 for one shirt and 15 for the rest Hey, yeah, you got to get them, a, uh, get get a fee added in there if you're having to design it, especially like for the big orders, I don't too much worry about it because it, you know, it take care of itself. But when they come in and they want one shirt and then a lot of times when they want that one shirt, they feel like you can have it done that same day or the next day for them. But I on purpose don't. I, I My time of completion is four to seven business days. A lot of times I'll do the shirt and it'll be ready, but I don't contact them until later because for one, I don't want that. I don't want those one shirt orders. 
And usually when I have like the one shirt orders, I, I only, you know, I try not to take them too much, but like when things are slow, I will take them. I don't be turning nothing down when things be slow. Let me see. You're welcome. Um, I, I'm on Etsy, but I don't have a shop. I don't sell anything. I ha I am wild style tees. I think wild style tees, W Y L D, but I don't sell anything on Etsy. I, I have my websites where I sell like my merch, like, well, this t-shirt t-shirt right now, I'm not offering it, but I have like the one that's, I call the t-shirt chick albino shirt. I have that on there. T-shirt chick TV.com. Um, and I sell, I have that. I just posted my website earlier and craftershangout.com. Both of those are my websites that one of them is craft supplies and the other one is like t shirt chick merch, um, t shirt business, like information. Uh, if you want like consultations, you can get that on that on t shirt chick TV.com. And you could also get like the forms that I use here for my business, I sell on there. And if I offer any classes and like. Um, stuff that I make here, I just started to add it on there like that. Um, the locks, it's the locks for me hoodie. You can get that on there too. So stuff that I make on here, you know, on my channel, that's not for customers. I will start offering that stuff on there. So if it's something that y'all see me make on here and y'all are interested in it, just leave a comment or let me know and I'll make it available. What's up, S. Boone? How you doing? What's up, M&M &M Customs? Where I say I just had an issue with UP, USPS shipped out priority to Texas. It ended wow, Puerto Rico. And I'm still waiting for it. it how are you gonna confuse Puerto Rico and Texas? Come on. Man, now you have to reprint and ship it again. Man, that is crazy. That's crazy. I hate that for you, Rye. That that was your uh some transfers or t-shirts it hopefully what it was just the transfers even though that's bad enough you know but if it's t-shirts you know it's just you're out of more money and time with the transfers you know you kind of let the machine do all the work with that empty says yeah creative fabric is the best i've been with them for one and a half years yep they are good and that's my website right there crack hang out y'all i my sister working on something i got something real special coming for y'all hopefully Hopefully, I I can be uh doing that real soon. I'm gonna have to call her back, and I'm I ain't gonna be on here too long this morning, y'all, because I gotta um uh, get some things done today. And that is this is my craft supplies website right here. You can go in there, rhinestones transfers stuff like that. This one right here, t-shirtchicktv.com. You can get merch. You can get the forms. You can um sign up for a consultation. And when I offer classes and like the as seen on youtube stuff will be stuff that i make here on youtube to be heard says i'm having issues curing with the heat press how long do you recommend pressing to cure i think i'm over you talking about for screen printing for screen printing i do 30 seconds i do 30 seconds at three 350 30 seconds at three let me see it's been a minute because um the, like if you're talking about screen printing ink, it has to get up to i think it, it's got to get up to 320 320 degrees so if you do like 350 it should cure it all the way through and you probably wouldn't even have to do the full 30 seconds like maybe 20 20 seconds or so and that should cure it it's been a minute since i did that if that's what you're talking about um let me see good morning Juanita how you doing I says just transfers and that is my crafters hangout YouTube channel right there if y'all interested in basket making and craft crafting in that way how you doing Jody all right crafty don't get to use your girl link since, since I let you know about it, you help a sister out. Pam says, our neighborhood Karen got our, U, our UPS man rerouted. It's been hit and mit, man. That's crazy. The, the guy that I be having the problems with, 
um he had hit somebody mailbox or something and um they they ended up getting rid of him for a while but then he came back and then he was gone and i think i got a new driver because they took they finally took the other guy's name off of the box you know how it's got their last name on the box the driver's last name that it had the new guy's name on there good morning crappy puerto rican how you doing okay yeah that um so you can do 350 for about 20 seconds and you should be good to go um you gonna look at my website all right appreciate that amethyst appreciate it water-based ink yeah now with the water-based ink you let it dry first and then you cure it and it, it'll be the same thing crafty lee says yep and jody says i'm okay i'm getting my tools i'm good i am good but i appreciate y'all jumping on here let me see Juanita says i meant sin she is the most thank you i appreciate that i appreciate that and she said i'm the real deal i i appreciate that that's that's nice of you to say miss Juanita. i appreciate it i just try to be myself my bad I gotta call my sister back. Good morning, Lenore. How you doing? I'm new to your channel. Interested in starting my own t-shirt business. Well, I have videos. Um, you may want to check out the um the video I the live stream from last Wednesday where I was talking about um the best way to print so that you can kind of get a breakdown of all of those. And also, I do have that series called how to start a t-shirt business in 30 days, but I haven't finished it. I plan to get it finished by August though. I plan to get it finished by August. I'm going to be filming today. I got some uh, um, videos I'm going to be filming today and I got a small order to do today so I can go ahead and get it shipped out today. But, um, but yeah. What's up T-Town? How you doing? Amethyst, I yes, I did. I, I didn't do nothing for prime days, but spent money. Amethyst, I, I I bought some. Uh, I'm training my son this summer because, like, I don't know if y'all know it or not, but my degree is in exercise science. Like, I wanted to be a personal trainer, like a uh, you know person who um, help people lift weights and get in shape and stuff like that. That's what I wanted to be when I went to college, and the t-shirt thing just kind of came back around because I used to make t-shirts when I was in junior high. I used to like hand draw them with that tulip, the tulip ink and paint or whatever. That's what, that's what I used to do. But um, yeah, I'm trying to get back into that. So I'm hoping that my son, he, he's, he getting games. I might have to bring him on here and let y'all, let, but I don't know. I don't know. I might not can bring him on here, but he, you know, he's been uh, working out and stuff and um, he getting stronger. So hopefully when school start back, people will be like, what did you do this summer, dude? And he'll give me a bunch of customers, hopefully. Hopefully. I agree. One need to never seen sin change colors, even when upset. You know what? I When I get mad, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, like if somebody's trying to make me mad, they can't. I won't let them know if I am. So if they, if I know somebody's trying to make me mad, I'm not going to let them make me mad. So it's just like, you know, it, it defeats the purpose. Okay, I see what you're trying to do. So I'm going to smile more. So even if I'm not liking what you're doing, I'm I'm not going to let you upset me. Yeah, but I appreciate y'all watching. And uh, I have the premiere coming out on Thursday, on Thursday, on Friday, if y'all want to check that out. So make sure that y'all... Um, go to my page in case y'all didn't get the notification because youtube do be tripping they do be tripping so um go to, to that page oh lenore i was i don't even know if i finished but the live stream from last wednesday is talking about all the different ways to print and why so you could check that out and i do have i think i um talked about that but i got over 1500 videos on here or around 1500 videos so I should have a lot. Dimps, what's up? What's up, Dimps? Barb says, yep, diffuse with kindness. Yep. Amethyst says, yes, I know 
you have a you have a YouTube channel that yeah yeah it's uh get fit with sin yeah so I um I used to work out on there but um I got a whole bunch of YouTube channels but I ain't gonna uh, hold y'all on here I'm gonna go ahead and jump off and get my day started okay cool thank you so much appreciate you subscribing thank you thank you for that but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and jump up here i will see y'all on friday at the premiere the premiere i think is at 11 11 a.m so i'll see y'all then but until then y'all be blessed